Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Oh, well, now, young people were more polite back in my day, respected their elders. Of course, we had a real overseer back then, worthy of respect. Not like that one over there with his rules and his secrets. Why, I have half a mind to just up and tell you. Are you ready for your surprise? Since when? Regardless, I think you'll like this one. You're getting older, and you've got your pit boy. I figure you're old enough for this, too. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. I'm sorry you feel that way. Maybe you haven't grown up as much as I thought. If you don't want it, I'm sure I can find someone who does. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? I've got this head... Hello? Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Fight my own battles? Sure. Three against one is fair. What's gotten into you? I thought we were friends. Turns out you're just as big a jerk as these idiots. Yeah? What do you want? Her weight, huh? I can see why. You're okay, Pipsqueak. Now run along before you get hurt. I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. What? Don't... Come on! You've got to wake up! Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here! You don't understand. It's your dad. He's left the vault. They think Jonas helped him. Don't be an idiot! What are you gonna do? Fight the whole security force by yourself? There's more where that came from. <laughs> you gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Please! I know I've always been a jerk towards you. I know it! But you can't walk away and let her die just because I was an asshole. Please! I'm begging you! You're a real bastard, you know that? I hate your guts, you fucking coward! What have you done? You killed him! 
Why would you kill my father? Get away from me! I can't talk to you right now. Good, you're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! Gladly. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? You're not getting a damn thing from me. Hello again, America the Magnificent. This is present. Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Yeah, great. What do you need, asshole? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. What about it? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Damn it, boy. You picked the wrong man to mess with. Now I've got to put you in the ground. You can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in. Yeah, bring... Pulse charge is rigged? Excellent. Excellent! Ah, the anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble, world, before my electric heating coil of doom! Welcome to Big Town. Not that there's much of a town left. I'm so tired of being frightened all the time. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. No, no, no. I would never do that. Polly does. Sample it, I mean. He's my deadbeat husband. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. Make it quick, will ya? I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. Thanks, man. I really need this fix. Yeah. Oh! Kind of hard to breathe in this thing. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did. But I never really had much to start with. 
I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. I hope you'll come back and visit someday. You must be our prospective customer. I do hope Paradise Falls can accommodate your needs. We make no judgments, no assumptions. We understand that it's a harsh world out there, and you do what you must to make it. I hope you found me a place to live. What is this weird thing? I can't believe everything you've done for me. I don't know. I'm not supposed to go outside. I am too, a big girl. Let's go see the outside. Why, hello, little girl. What a lovely dress you have. Thank you, miss. We're going on an adventure. You bet we are. Are you ready to go on the Adventure Express? Oh boy, let's go now! Can we please? Absolutely. In fact, I want you to have this friendship necklace. It's good luck. Wear it, and you'll never get lost. Ow, it's all scratchy. Don't fuss, my little girl. You'll get used to it. Well, okay. I can't wait to tell Lucy about this adventure. I'm sure she'll be so proud of you. Now we've got a big day ahead of us, so let's get going. Excuse me. I bet you're so bad because your mom didn't love you. What's your business, stranger? Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? Welcome, brother, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. Well, who do we have here? I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably wondering about what we're doing here. We're hunting runaway slaves. Have you seen any? I'm only interested in the leader, Hannibal Hamlin. You find him, and I'll pay you 100 caps. Very clever. Well, I guess I owe you some caps. We are just about to wipe out this Temple of the Union. You can join us or not. It makes no difference to me. Yeah, I killed them all after telling you not to. I just couldn't trust anyone else to do it. I needed to see them dead with my own eyes. Anyway, the problem has been taken care of. I can go back to Paradise Falls now. I'll make sure they know you're our kind of people. You'll be welcome there anytime. Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? What? Did I do something bad? Not my mommy and daddy, no! 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 Ah! The pint size. Ah! The pint size slap. Whatever. Ah! The no, pint size. No. Please leave me alone. The pint sized slasher! Someone help me! Ah! Run! No! Most enjoyable. 
Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. I'm sorry you feel that way. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Garza is in need of medical attention immediately. He has a heart condition. I will not leave him behind. That murdering scum. Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, not really. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that, but I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? You... You what? You son of a bitch! This is hopeless! That's right, her and I have been together for... Oh, about 60 years now. That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I, no one else. Oh, would you now? He's a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? I suppose we could do that, uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every principle that I have as a businessman. So the fact that there is another source for booze in town troubles me. First Gob goes to see the world, and now Greta is dead. Everyone I love leaves me, it seems. We've been together longer than you've been alive. It's just, you know, you think that you're going to be with someone forever. And then you wake up one day and they're gone. Where do you go from there? Is she now? Well, it seems that this arrangement worked out well for both of us. With the new profit I'll make from Greta's customers, I'll be able to hire a replacement for Sharon with plenty left over for myself. This is none of your business. Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. You're right. I failed everyone, even my family. Someday. You've been rather busy lately, asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? Don't you realize what you're doing? The path you're on has the potential to ruin a man's life. If you change your mind, Tell him the android is... No! Hello there, stranger. Good to meet you. Name's Jack Smith. I hear you've already met my wife. Sweet lady, isn't she? But anyway, welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Hey there, stranger. I've got something that I want to talk to you about. 
I couldn't help but notice that you're poking around in my basement. So, be honest now, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? You're right, it sure would have. You know, you're a breath of fresh air. Every time someone discovers our little secret, we have to hear about it. It's always, oh, how can you do this? Or, you're such terrible people, or please not me, I have a kid in Rivet City. Well, I have kids too. Family first, that's the way it works in Andale, from the day that the first four families decided to stay here. You're not bad, stranger. Stop on by any time and ask Linda for one of her special meat pies. Oh, of course. Here you are. Enjoy. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? I'm gonna... Oh, kid. Leave me alone. Me and Bob have better things to do than speak to a murderer. Now go away. Never come back. <laughs> Those people you killed were some of the most peaceful people in the wasteland! How could you do that to them? <coughs> How dare you come into Oasis and shoot up the place? Even Bob is mad at you, and he never gets mad, <coughs> except when I don't stop Calling him Herbert. <laughs> I can't believe you'd kill those innocent people like that. And I thought I was a monster. <laughs> if I could move, I would show you a, a thing or two. But Bob has me stuck here. <laughs> I am Dave. President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Communist! He is a communist! Everyone, come quick! Help me. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. It wouldn't have if your father hadn't ruined everything by opening that door. Things were just fine until he decided to take a little walk. That's it, old man. We're opening that door. And to hell with you. You know I can't do that. Well, look at who came crawling back home.
I just heard what you did. It was terrible, but I guess it had to be done. What's more, some of the people are saying I should be the new overseer. It's all so sudden. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Okay, hey, hey, this thing feels weird. Can I take it off now? The slavers? I I'm a slave? How did this happen? Who are you again? Oh, what is it? It's heavy. Oh, well, what friends are you talking about? Do I know them? Oh, oh, that sounds painful. Okay, which way is Paradise Falls again? Whoa, is it me or is the world spinning? Sure, what's this thing for anyway? A slave? I don't remember being a slave. Which way is that again? Over here. Where? Look at he sold us out to get into Rivet City. We'll never forget that. And now we'll make sure he never forgets it either. Here's another collar. Keep hurting the swine in here and you will have more bottle caps than you'll know what to do with. My, my, my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play. No way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. It should be pretty obvious that I have nothing of value. All I can offer you is the same I offer the caravans that trade with me the frequency of my radio, and the promise of beautiful music. Oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. What brings you by Rivet City today? Incredible. I've heard of those items. They were used to make music many, many years ago, I believe. Well, although it has no American historical significance, I can take it off your hands for 200 caps. How does that sound? Well, that's wonderful. Here are your caps. Thanks very much. Sit down a spell and relax. You son of a bitch! You know what that thing meant to me? It was a family heirloom. It belonged rightfully in the hands of a musician. Someone to appreciate its value, not to exploit it. I can't believe you'd stab an old woman in the back like this. Now get out. Get out of here this instant. Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Oh! 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 our defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. Saints alive! It is both an honor and a privilege, sir. I was hoping this day would arrive. I hope these fortifications are up to your high standards, sir. 
It has been both an honor and a privilege to serve in the Army of the United States. What are your final orders? I am shocked to hear these words from you. I thought I was doing my best to hold these fortifications on behalf of our country. Since I have obviously failed that task in your eyes, the only task I held dear, I see no recourse but to do the honorable thing. I'm sorry you see it that way. What are you going to do? Kill me over it? Oh, yeah. What I'm going to ask of you may seem a bit disturbing. I assure you there's a very good reason for it. Mutations like the super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world before we can proceed anew. I was hoping you'd see it my way. If the water purifier can be activated, it can be used to distribute toxins that will eliminate any mutated creatures upon ingestion. The longer it runs, the cleaner the world becomes. I need you to see that it starts running and that the necessary modification is made. In front of you is a vial of modified FEV virus. Based on schematics of the purifier controls, it can be inserted directly into the console. Oh, welcome, oh, Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Boo-hoo, Megaton blew up. These fuckers deserve what they got. Now, can we get out of here? Or should I just keep waiting next to this stinking hole? Thank Christ. I thought I was gonna grow a fourth arm sitting next to all this fucking radiation. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything What's going on? So, what should we do? Draw straws? So that's how it is? So much for chivalry. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Are we actually gonna do something, or am I gonna stand here all day? Yeah, you don't seem like the goody-goody type. <clears throat> but don't spread this around. So, this ghoul, Griffin, comes in wanting to purchase a bunch of water. Well, hello there, smooth skin. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aquacura? 
It's true, I got a thing going. I take the Aqua Pura, store it to sell to humans later, then I put the irregular irradiated crap in the bottles and sell it to these fools. Just ask Bigsley at Project Purity. He'll tell you how grateful he is I'm helping them out like this. But watch yourself. Get in my way and let's just say I'm good at removing problems. Muscles atrophying? Getting picked on by bullies? Well, fear the dark alleys no longer, friends. Where? My what now? My bottling operation? <laughs> oh, you mean where I add my secret ingredient to the Aqua Pura? Why you buy your... <sighs> Fine. If you promise to keep your mouth shut, I'll cut you in. Me and my boys continue to do our thing. You come and check on us once in a while, and I'll cut you in for your share. Each week you make it by, I'll give you 20% of the previous week's profits. That's more than fair for doing nothing. I'm doing all the hard work. Fine, 50-50 it is. But only of the profits. I still have to recoup my initial investment. You come back once a week and I'll give you your share. I have a dress from before the war that's seen better days. I am afraid I, uh, don't have anything to give you. Are you fucking kidding me? Is there something else? What? Fantastic. Now we'll all just hold our breath while the Rivet City Council picks a replacement. Took them a week to pick her originally. A week! Ah! Respect, man. You're really gonna blackmail me? <sighs> here, take it. I'll see you next week. Now get out of here before my customers notice what's going on. The amazing Aqua Cura cures all the common wounds in. What the hell? The, the whole place, it's, it's gone. It was you. You did this, you goddamn murderer. You've killed them all. Kill this traitor, kill him. Electric heating coil of doom! <laughs>